right, here we are for the final battle, holding some sort of a um, village, let's say, somewhere outside or perhaps in just inside the borders of Germany. Who knows? Who cares? Let's go ahead and start defending some bridges here. So if the four enemy units have spawned, they're probably spawning on both sides of the map. Oh, thank goodness we at least have a defensive position. That means we're going to have to push hard on the right, hold on the left, and then try to uh, be abusive in the center which means a lot of back and forth with the uh, German infantry. We're going to need a lot of infantry, by the way. The Soviets are going to be super accurate. They're probably going to call up an armored car or something that will just slice through all of our infantry once they spot them. So we're going to have to definitely make sure we call up uh, some units here to defend from a distance and also view from a distance. I'm going to try to get as many uh, vehicles and, well, things to kill vehicles. So AT guns and mortars, which can also kill vehicles too and definitely suppress or damage the wheels. And uh, that would be a good thing. All right, left side. Looks like uh, we're just holding the river here. So it looks like um, mostly shallow on this side. Good for vehicles and a bridge crossing, too. Yeah, this seems to be more deep into Soviet territory. But with everything being so muddy and uh, bloody, it's hard to tell exactly where we are. Somewhere on the eastern front. Okay, let's go ahead and get the boys into a defensive position somewhere near the bridge. Uh, looks like the capture zone is just on the other side. I can't really see the layout here for this one. I don't see the dotted line border. It seems to be on the other side. I can see the flag there. Get a few of our men to get on this side. So these are all German veterans. Some of the best German infantry that still remains. Oh, I can see the dotted line now. So it's blocked by the fog of war. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the guys to dig in as much as possible on this side. We'll have everyone else cover on the on the bridge. German troops are quite skilled compared to the Soviets, so we will probably have a kill ratio of like 3 to 1, maybe, for most situations, but we got to get everybody digging in. There we go. Really cool how each individual soldier can easily dig in, and that those positions are very difficult to destroy. Okay, let's get that machine gunner back for sure. In the middle here, we've got our infantry inside of trenches. Let's call out another Volkstrom squad instead to capture the center. And on the far left side, looks like the Soviets are capturing finally. Don't know exactly how the enemy spawns in, but at least we got some pre-built defenses here. And some pretty substantial ones, too. The only problem is the enemy knows where they are already, and they can see them on the map. Kicking off in the center. Get a mortar up, too. Yeah, we want two. Ah, nice. Very good. We'll call out some more defenses to the left first, because that'll be the side that I can reinforce last, because of how far it is. Reinforcements would take a longer time. Here in the center, we're holding a little bit better. Okay, let's get by this log up here. Get the boys back across the bridge. The other one's not coming along. Okay, we'll give commands one at a time then. There we go. MG gunner over here. Alright, Soviets already bringing over a vehicle. T-34. Oh, wonderful. Tiger tank's already unlocked. Let's get a panther up on the left side to deal with that problem. Under our command, we have access to a Jag panther late Stug G, and also artillery signalers and more. So we're definitely going to call out a few of these tanks now. Panthers on the prowl. Heading to the left, then. Mortar squad called out. And the Panthers already on the move. Going to cover that left side immediately. And reinforce with infantry. Sending more of the love to the left side. Seems like not much here attacking in the center. Let's call up a light armored car. AT gun is shooting at some of the Soviets as they advance. Volk's Grenadier capturing and pinned down like crazy. And we have ourselves a KV-85, a perfect target for a Tiger. A juicy little morsel. Panthers are moving in. More infantry will need to come left. Let's 
Second Panther approaching. More infantry. There we go, Panther 1 approaching. Should be able to engage tanks any moment. Light armored car there. Okay, we'll need to capture that center as well. We'll reinforce with some better infantry, see if we can capture. Tiger is on the battlefield and ready to go. Should be able to hit the, hit the KV-85 any second. Tiger reloading. Perfect shot on that KV-85. Let's get a manual fire on that. Little to the left. Little low. Third time's the charm. Alright, he's changing positions now. Brought a small armored car here. Seems to be taking some hits. Oh, he's going to need a friend. Let's bring over a Panzer 4G. Recapture the left side. Oh. KB 85 actually hitting the right side. Now, typically, these are settings that we don't normally play with the Men of War Assault Squad, so the action is kicking off much faster than usual. A very uh, good progression. We'll bring up a Panther to join the Tiger. But we have the flag, which is more important. Friendly mortars. There we go. Looks like the Soviets have kicked it up with tanks on all fronts. Bring up a G and H and a Panther. And we'll get ready for a full scale attack. We're preparing now to cross into the river. They're holding on the left for more KV-85s and other tanks. A hit. Try to hit him one more time here. We are hitting, and we are causing damage here. Oh. These tanks move quite quickly. That vehicle's been wiped out. Oh no, it's pierced through to the uh, armored car there. should have a giant flame coming out of the top of it. Hit again as well while we micromanage other sections of the battle. Let's call up an entire uh, group of tanks now. Oh, the, the amount of Soviet armor right now. 
IS-1s, KV-85s. Looks like they've concentrated their armor on the center. Hmm, we now have access to a Sturm Tiger. But let's try the Egg Panther. The Sturm Tiger is essentially a giant missile artillery, like a large cruise missile. Or at least that's how it works in Metal War Assault Squad. You don't have to hit anything, you just need to get close. And it will destroy itself. Alright, it seems to be coming down to the middle. Everything else is okay. Hard to micromanage everything. You'll rarely have this number of units. Maybe two medium tanks at a time. Get that tank one more time. There we go. That's what we want to see. The Egg Panther on the way. Oh, ho, ho. Lucky shot from a KV-85. Time to return the favor. We'll hold a few tanks in the rear and see if we can bring up the guns together. Enemy still trying to bring up multiple tanks. IS-2 now spotted on the left. Great. Another Tiger tank for the middle. Alright, we'll create a second line of armor here. Well, this guy's hiding behind the tent. Oh my god. Wow, the G cut right through that tank, absolutely decimating it. No, no way. Wow, that's crazy. Tiger's been hit multiple times. Down to two crew, we gotta recruit now. Which would be there. We're preparing an armored push. Keeping it out of the reach of the enemy. Okay, we'll pull the Yag Panther back a little bit. Go plug the hole on the right side. Seems like the action on the left side's calmed down a bit. The Soviets now focusing their attacks on the right with IS uh, IS one and uh, oh no two K. Oh wait, that is a KV eighty five. Ah, we get to zoom out much further, and it looks much different. Very nice. A lot of KV one S's around, and KV eighty fives. Tank should be safe to cut to the right now. Alright, Sturm Tiger is ready to go. This tank can make a very big difference with its very big, I think it's 300 millimeter. No, 380 millimeter. Basically a tactical nuke. Let's capture this center. We'll clear the way if needed. And the Egg Panther will park up here on top of the road. Damn, it's almost like the Battle of Silo Heights. Or at least around there. More of our tanks, no matter what, going to be taken out. I think we're about ready for an armored push, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost as if I can kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. 
All right. Now we've spotted enemy tanks. Let's get an opening salvo. Let's see the range on this thing before we attack. Looks to be about 150 to about 150-ish. We'll bring it in behind this Tiger. We'll launch our attack field nuke and then we'll take the field. So much Soviet infantry. Oh, we'll just clear that out then. Nuclear launch detected. Good. All right, bring up the tanks. That's death in the shape of a panzer battalion. Time to close in, boys. Let's get up there. Those guns are sexy, man. Ooh. Well, the Sturm Tiger not really destroying what I was hoping with its rocket. However, we can pull up another one. Take turns reloading and firing those, and it looks like the reload is much faster now. Wow. Here comes the second one. Right side is now held by the enemy. Whoa, damn. Absolute obliteration. All right, we need a victory now. Start hitting tanks. Goodbye. A defeat. Ah, oh, <laughs> A very cool battle. Excellent. Let's do it again. All right, back on the same side as before. Now we have ourselves the uh, Kampf group, which ooh gives us access to the Koing Tiger, and then a bunch more uh, Panther and Tiger tanks as before. Good, and uh, a bunch of good infantry as well. More Grenadiers and Sturm Grenadiers. Perfect. Okay, well we know we're gonna have to be abundant with our uh, tanks. Really, tanks are gonna just be a lot better obviously with their armored protection there's really no other way around it so we'll have to make sure that we try to take these positions as quickly as possible and try to maintain uh, 
cover too. There we go. Okay, we gotta flood some stuff to the left side. We have two minutes for the tank, so we can at least call it maybe like a pack to uh, get somewhere up to the road here. Bet we can't get like a. I, I've not seen a pack 88 that we can call up at all. Uh, here's a f pack 40, but it'd be cool to get a flak 88. I've seen it mounted on trucks now at this point. I've played enough to where I've actually seen those units. So we'll see them in just a moment. Okay, let's see. We also need to cover that center. Cool. Oh, there's two trenches dug in. Gives us a nice jumping off point to get into that center trench. I mean that center position. There we go. Now we need more infantry in that center too, but there's really nowhere to take cover, so we just got to be more ruthless than the Soviets with our waste. We need boots in the in the squares. It's just going to have to happen. Now my play style is more adjusted to conservative play in the uh, main multiplayer battles where of course you get limited tanks and limited infantry because everything all the call outs are slowed down your points are limited when you call out a, a panther it's because you need it not because you want to create some sort of epic looking battle and uh, if you lose a panther you might be able to come back but chances are you're going to be struggling for a bit here a panther may as well just be a transport truck because you're not going to be really needing it for too long all right let's see all right, let's go ahead and call up our uh, troops to start digging in here. We'll see how long this lasts. We'll also call up a, uh, let's see, a mortar. Yeah, boy. I want to try to spread out our troops if possible. Yeah. Get our machine gunner up. Yeah, boy. The attack I don't think is going to come on this right side, more the left side. And I already see the enemy capturing the flag in the upper left corner. And we'll take this left flank just in case they happen to come across the bridge. Alright, reinforcements are here. Okay, let's try to get some stuff down. We should have tanks online now, so it's time for the Panthers. We need them right away. No late show. And we'll save for the Koings Tiger as well. At least we have a little bit of time for it. These guys are already dead. We need more reinforcement. Okay. So we'll bring up a flat gun and a few mortars. Need another Panther. Left flank sees, seems really secure. Find it hard to s tell what's kind of cover and what's kind of more picturesque visual effect. We're going to need to build up a large panther force here before we attack. The panther is just more nimble. And so if we need to move it in order to react to enemy movements, like a tank, for example, on the left, that's a good vehicle to use. Call up a Stug against that tank. Hmm, it looks like the infantry is smart enough to get inside the foxholes in most cases. We'll bring up another MG detachment for the center. Tanks look pretty sitting next to each other, don't they? Enemy infantry in the open. Wow. Panthers working together in a group here. Alright, more tanks on the left. Multiple T-34s.
Alright, Stug has arrived. Ah, AT gun got zapped. That's unfortunate. Deflection off the ground looks super cool. T-34 is what we're engaging there, 76 model. Very uh, big lack of T-34-85 in this game so far. I haven't seen any just yet. Well, we've been tracked, but that's okay. We're facing the enemy. That tank's been disabled. Tank's been taken out. Wonderful. Okay, more reinforcements just in case to the left. Center position secure. We're going to need more reinforcements. Call up another Panther. And we'll get the uh, king of the battlefield on the field. Oh yes, there we go, the big guns. Soviet infantry. That's going to be the problem here. Oh. We're going to need our precious. Duke is dead on the left, and the Panther is out now on the line. Looks like the Panther cannot be repaired, so it is a loss. Bring another one. It is repairable for whatever reason. We couldn't do it at the time. Some time might have to pass before the crew can fully repair, perhaps. Soviets again attacking strong on the right side. I'm going to go with one Koenig's Tiger. There can only be one star of the show, but we'll have hunters in packs. We'll have another Tiger on the right side momentarily. Knife through butter on that one. Shouldn't matter where we hit that thing. She's already on fire. Ha 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 ha, beautiful. Keep that pretty lady in the back.
All right, both Tigers will come up. We have a replacement uh, for our Panther tank. Wow, the uh, wall of text on the right side, damn. Overlap, literally overlapping my like ability to call out units. Crap. All right, Soviets are trying to send up infantry again. What's that second Tiger? Should be on the right side here. I don't know why they keep getting off the road if the callout's on this side. Let's see, we have a rum bar as well. Very good heat round on that. It would be great to have a Sturm Tiger again. But that seems to be mostly uh, infantry based. Yeah, this first look on the hardest difficulty is definitely proving to be good. I, I do like this and would like to probably do the uh, conquest mode in the hardest difficulty as well. At least it seems to be most uh, perhaps realistic, though I don't know if that'll change any of the parameters of the actual gameplay, but. Looks like the Soviets are trying to rush the flag. All right, reinforcements are coming. Get the cover, boys, and start shooting. There we go. Okay, we need more infantry in that in that square. We gotta win, damn it. Well, now that I'm more used to just uh, continuous callouts, my brain was used to all the timers and such from previous versions, but now that we have an unlimited budget, it feels good. We're gonna have to call up everything in twos. There we go. It's a sort of a glitch on that tank. All right. Replacement tiger time. We need infantry waves on the center. All right. Time to push a little bit more. Is that a captured tiger? Sometimes these uh, IS-1s somewhat look like a tiger from a distance. With that flat front at a distance almost looks somewhat similar. Let's get it. Woo, there we go. It's like the enemy's showing us the side of their tanks for some reason. Flank 
over here. Damn, the Soviets have that center locked down. Let's try some smoke. This will be my first time using smokes to see if it's actually effective. We can also use it on the tanks too. Two on the left is still causing pain. All right, more infantry. Soviets seem to be retreating on the right side. Actually about to win I don't know how the enemy holds more positions than us does this have anything to do with kills or maybe it's just gonna be held the center longer I have no idea all right well it certainly is possible it seems in fact even the first uh, time that we had played I just need to get more comfortable with calling out more and more and more and more tanks and not be afraid to actually lose them when the enemy's gonna have high numbers you're just unfortunately gonna take losses Playing out a little bit like War Thunder, it's cool. As you can see though, everything has to be babysat in order to ensure victory against uh, enemy tank, well, friendly tanks that become the enemy by showing their backside rather than attacking uh, up front. So, very good stuff. A lot of vehicle kills here, not too bad. Only a few vehicles on our side lost, but somewhat equal though. Um, in terms of like technology and training and whatnot, if you think about it in a real world situation. But hey, we're here to capture flags and territory. That's the way to win in this one, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, I guess get out of here for now. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Goodbye.